So earlier we say if we want to use the arrange base for loop to modify an array, we need to be careful. Your arrange variable data type should be a reference. So remember what is reference? That's your data type with ampersand. So here after we change our data type with ampersand, this value variable become a reference. So when they copy one by one the num value, actually they are not copy. They will refer the val to the each element from the array. So now here you can ask the user to enter an integer value. So then we assign to the val. So when you assign to the val, on the other hand, you also assign to the numbers. So then here, using the reference, they can update the value. So then here in the example 5, then you will see what they have. So your val actually is your reference. They can either be int or be auto reference. So then when you have that, they just every time to using this val to refer to the array in the numbers. So then we can update the value. Of course, I need you to run the program for example 5 from the IDE. So then we can see here we open the IDE. So then one thing is when you declare your array number size equal to 5, right? If you want to update the value, you need to use in the reference. But how about that's display? So before we update the value, let's display what happened in the numbers array. So here are the value before update. So that's why we add one more for loop before that. So then right, so this one you can see when you just want to display, you just using the data type int. But when you want to update the array, we need to use in the reference. So then we ask the user to enter the integer value one by one. So now afterward, we can see did they update the data or not. So that's why we run the program from the output. You see here, that's what we told you, right? You see, before that, your value is so weird. So that's why we say when you declare an array in the local function, each value, they are mystery box. Sometimes they are make sense. You see one or zero, but sometimes they are just weird number because we don't, we didn't initialize each value. So here you see, unless you're using the initializer, otherwise each array element, they are just mystery box because they found the previous memory location value. So now continue, they, we are going to the second for each loop. So that's enter the integer value. So that's give them 100, 200, 300, and 400, and 500. So right, so you see afterward, after we're using the reference to do the for each loop. So then afterward, we enter the value. So when they display the array element again, then you will see here, they display. 100 to 500 what we entered earlier. So that's our range base for loop. If you only want to do the display purpose for read only purpose, you just using the auto or data type for the array. If you want to update your array content, you need to use in the reference. So that's our example five. So after you understand the example five, so that's why when we go back to the example four, uh, that's earlier I show you, right? So the first thing we display the original value. So then later on, we update the value using the val equal to 100. But if you run the program, you will see, actually, even you update the val equal to 100, they don't really update the original array. So when you, Right, when you run this program, the value beginning is 10 to 100. Afterward, they still 10 to 100. So now can you tell me, how should I change here to really make the val 100 can be updated? 
right? Just like earlier we said, right? You want to update, you need to use in the reference. So even here, we do the auto reference, but we have the M percent. So after you have this M percent reference, when they access each element, they were using this value to refer to the memory location. So when they assign to 100, they will update to the original array. So then you can run the program now. You can see beginning, they are all 1 to 10 to 100. But now when we call the range base array passing by reference, so that's why all the value being updated. So that's the range base array passing by reference or by copy.